Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about trends for spring 2023. Before I start anything, I want to say a few words. If I look tired or I sound a little bit chaotic, it's because I'm exhausted. Uh, we have been moving houses for a week now and it's not finished. I actually feel like this is just the beginning. We have been going back and forth, moving things and on top of that now I have pile of things everywhere. I can't find the simplest things uh, including my recording gear. We moved into a project house uh, so we can make it our own but of course it means that we're gonna have to put a lot of uh, work money and effort to it. Fingers crossed, uh, everything will go smoothly and it will not affect my videos. Fashion trends for spring 2023. I wanted to approach this topic in a more sustainable way, so I teamed up with Nord Green, a company that puts sustainability very high on their priority list but I'll talk about them a little bit later. So something I noticed about trends this season, or maybe it's just me because I'm uh, very focused on specific trends, but I think in general trends this season or trends post pandemic uh, tend to be more wearable. And that makes me very happy and hopeful for the future that fashion industry will focus more on re-wearing, re-imagining, and restyling our classic and timeless pieces instead of getting new, crazy, totally unwearable and out there pieces that will go out of style very quickly. I'm very excited to share with you the trends I picked for this season and how I will be styling them. The first two trends are about jewelry and accessories, things that I've been really enjoying lately. So number one is metallic. If you've been following trends, uh, watching some runaway or just you know going on Pinterest and browsing a little bit, what you would see in general is uh, silver leather trousers, silver tops, uh, silver handbags and shoes. This is all really nice and cool, but it's too much for my minimalistic style. I used to wear silver shoes quite a lot, silver ballerina flats, but now I only do it in a way of accessories and jewelry. Silver has this shine, unlike gold. It can really lighten up your face, your look, like in this case, your black outfit. So it can really add the sparkle, this little something that you need in otherwise quite simple outfit. You would see me wearing my um, silver necklace, my chain um, chunky necklace. Uh, or my earrings that go with it. But lately I've been really wanting to add a silver watch. So I finally got one. The watch is from Nord Green, the sponsor of today's video. First of all, it's a company that I'm very happy and very proud to work with. So if you don't know Nord Green, it's a Danish watch brand. And they specialize in minimalistic, classic, very timeless pieces with a modern twist. I just wanted to say a few words about the company itself because I think it's really worth uh, looking into the values and the practices of the companies and not just what they sell. Like many Scandinavian brands, Nord Green takes uh, sustainability and environment very seriously. Uh, this is something I'm very happy about because I, I try myself to be more sustainable and not just in fashion but in general in my lifestyle. They are very transparent about the factories where they produce their watches and about their working conditions. They have a great giving back program. Every product sold uh, contributes to different NGOs that a company works with which support health, education and environment. It's actually really simple. Uh, when you receive your watch, it comes in a really nice box and there is a little envelope inside with some information about the watch, but also instructions how you can contribute and send your share to a charity of your choice. I think that's really great and in my opinion, more companies should give back to the community and the planet. So my watch, this is a very minimalistic, probably the, the simplest, what you can find on the website. It's called Native. It's silver with black dial. 
with this beautiful bracelet strap and this one is in size 36. I also picked black mesh strap which I absolutely love. First of all it's one of the most comfortable straps and it just looks really nice and elegant, just all black with some shimmery silver details. Top notch. If you like me you like to add different accessories, different colors, different texture. You can just buy one watch and add different straps. That also gives you flexibility in terms of occasion where you can wear it. So for example, you can choose a, a black leather strap, uh, which I personally would wear very casually. And for the second strap, you can go for mesh or bracelet, a really elegant, classy, and will go with everything. As you may know, I also have my Casio or Casio um, watch which is silver with white dial and it's in the square style and I really love this watch it's very timeless I know I'm gonna keep it and wear it forever but I knew from the beginning when I got it this is vintage watch by the way I knew it will be more uh, sporty more casual so I couldn't wear it for every occasion Plus, again, I just like versatility. I like to have different options. I feel like silver and black is a bit more edgy, more punk. Uh, it reminds me of a, a leather uh, biker jacket with silver hardware. Yeah, so I feel like it will add some uh, personality to my outfits, which I'm so excited about. If, however, you don't want to buy anything new because we are trying to be very sustainable here, and you may have something uh, old, something vintage in your wardrobe, or you prefer to shop vintage. I highly encourage you to look for handbags in vintage shops, even charity shops. You can find real gems, amazing pieces. I was very lucky. Last year in Manchester, I found this bag. I think it's beautiful. There you go. It's very fringy. And such bag, you can wear daytime you can wear with your uh, more casual outfit a birthday party i think that would be great for a fashion week not that i ever go it's very fun it's different it adds personality because it's vintage number two is something that i've been already wearing a lot and it's pearls i feel like pearls are having a huge comeback this year and i'm so happy about it pearls are great they really lighten up your face and it's flattering on anyone uh, another great thing about pearls is that you can wear them casually and for an occasion so you can pair them with a t-shirt and blue jeans but you can also wear them to an opera to a nice uh, date night to a restaurant and another great thing is it goes with both silver and gold speaking of pearls I wanted to mention this pair of earrings that I found in my uh, wardrobe when we were moving. I can't even remember when I bought them, it's been a while. It's these asymmetric earrings with a mother of pearl detail. They add something very special to an outfit, especially I feel like with my dark hair, you can really see them. Uh, normally long earrings uh, tend to get lost in my hair but these are so nice because you just see this a little bit of sparkle with the movement actually earrings uh, is a really good choice because they warm up your face and again they're gonna go with every skin tone you just need to choose a specific length and shape for your face the third trend which i'm wearing today is black. I always say that I prefer black in warmer months. In winter we all covered up if you wear a black jumper which is really high very close to your face. On top of that you add a black coat and it's just all too much and too heavy. In spring you can show your skin as I'm doing today. So you can open up the buttons as much as you feel comfortable. You can roll up your sleeves you can actually wear a tank top underneath and open the shirt completely. In terms of trousers, you can roll them up, you can wear cropped trousers, you can wear black dress, black dress uh, with a v-neck. I feel like black is very cool with the sunshine. It reflects the sun in a beautiful way. At least that's what I appreciate about that color. It's very chic, it's very interesting, especially if you add some texture, but it's not just about an all black outfit. Let me show you something. 
So we've got black and white and silver jewelry. Don't you think it's just amazing? It's a beautiful combination. And you can just wear black shoes to keep it simple. This is just a pop of color. I think it's just great. Trend number four is icy pastels. So there's pink, of course, they, there's baby blue, there's pistachio or sage green, uh, there is yellow, again, this more pastel yellow, which I actually really like, or lavender, of course, it's beautiful, I always love this color. Blue is the only color I'm very faithful to, and I wear it all year round. I wear it in winter, spring, summer. Uh, this is my very favorite color. I know it's very flattering for pretty much anyone, but recently I added this pink. It's very soft, very muted, but it's not too soft for me. It still adds some contrast, which I really appreciate. I prefer them uh, with something contrasting. Uh, so for example, black trousers, black skirt, and when it gets warmer, I'm probably gonna try it with white. Uh, again, it's quite of a contrast, so I really like that. But if you don't wear black, you don't wear any strong colors, I would pair that, both of them, with, oh, let me show you, with beige, with both warm and cool beiges. It all depends on your uh, skin undertone. Um, you see both of them, they look amazing with this color. So all beiges, taupes and grays. So, for example, you're going out and you have this beautiful uh, pink shirt and heels and you can wear this bag with it, which is silver. Same with blue. Uh, so you can mix and match with grey as well. Grey is really good to mix with colours if you don't want to go for black because black is too harsh for you. As you can see, these two look amazing together. They are so close, uh, yet there is some contrast in it. Pink with grey, I love it. If you're afraid of uh, wearing pink because it's too sweet, too girly, just wear it with a suit, with tailored trousers, with sneakers. Just add something edgy or something sporty to it and you will see that the shirt is gonna look very different, very cool and modern. Another trend that's very popular this season is tailoring. And it's a trend that makes me very happy because, uh, you know, I love tailoring uh, in any form. So the tailored pieces you will see in the shops a lot for spring is uh, waistcoats, uh, tailored trousers, but that's nothing new because tailored trousers are wearable all year round. If you pay attention uh, to composition of your clothes, when you go to shops, you will see the difference in fabric for tailoring this season. So you will see a lot of uh, linen, cotton, lyocell, it's quite popular for tailoring in spring and summer. You can still wear your wool trousers or wool blazers, which I do and I will be wearing uh, throughout the spring and summer. In terms of styling, easily you can pair your trousers your blazers, your shirts with, um, with sneakers. This is the easiest uh, shoe option as long as you choose something white, classic, something neat, uh, you can't go wrong. Waistcoats, you can pair them with many things. If you're not very comfortable wearing them just on your skin, wear a simple white or black t-shirt underneath and it's such a nice a smart casual look we can pair it with jeans uh, you can wear them with uh, smarter trousers i feel like this trend allows you to dress in a more smart casual way in spring so your outfit can still look put together and smart without compromising on comfort trend number six is relaxed denim I would say this trend, at least that's how I understand it, this trend is more about keeping your outfit uh, more smart, more feminine, more put together. So I would stay away from, um, always, not just for this trend, but I would stay away from uh, very distressed jeans, uh, something with holes and studs. I think this is never a good thing. Uh, the best way to go is just one color, light wash, dark wash, no extra details, just a simple pair of jeans. Sorry I was interrupted. I think I was talking about slouchy 
relaxed uh, jeans that you can wear on a daily basis but in a little bit more elevated way uh, so how you can do that? Simply by adding something tailored. That's one rule that always works. If you want to keep it uh, still quite casual, you can go for a white t-shirt or a striped uh, t-shirt and a blazer. You can go for a smart jacket, something like uh, your cropped wool jacket, cotton, something like that. One of the best ways uh, to style your jeans in a smart casual way is adding a shirt. And here I would say any shirt will go. Black, white, uh, pink, blue. I don't have problem with oversized blazers or shirts, but if you like to balance the outfit, I would still encourage you to wear your wide leg jeans because they are so nice, they're really flattering. But choose something slimmer on top. Maybe more fitted shirt, just not too fitted. <laughs> a crop jacket or crop blazer even. And for shoes, I would go for something slim, something minimalistic, simple, a white sneakers, a pair of Mary Janes or a flat a ballerinas or maybe loafers. All this will go nicely together and will make it more smart and also more spring appropriate. A trend number seven is uh, one that I don't know how to just put in one word. So it's all about crochet, cobweb, see-through, a loose knit. Let me just show you an example. You may know this top. So this one is just a knitted vest but it's got this bag that is just very much see-through and maybe this is not exactly what the trends are showing because I can see a lot of bras popping out and <laughs> breasts of course as well but again this is my interpretation this is how I see it and this is how I want to wear it I really like knitted top for spring and summer especially when it gets warmer they look very chic and Put together you really don't need to try too hard with them in terms of styling you can just go for a pair of jeans and a nice knitted top and it just looks smart but of course you can pair them with anything any trousers any skirts because we are talking about more sustainable choices in this video I would say avoid anything acrylic polyester uh, it's not a good material in general for tops that you wear directly on your skin just choose different fabric something like cotton linen viscose I'm sure there are some other options that I missed maybe you have some ideas uh, please put that in the comments section another trend I will be wearing this season is a pair of Mary Janes these are actually shoes that I got last year. Well, my friend got them for me from Turkey. Thank you, Aisha. But now I think you can shop them internationally. Uh, I will put the name um, on the screen so you can find them. Uh, these are velvet in gray. I don't know if you can see them. Very nice, simple, very comfy. They are so much like your slippers. Not something I actually thought I would wear, but I feel like now, uh, as my style is a little bit more tailored, has so many uh, masculine elements in it, I feel like now adding such pair of shoes is gonna make it more, you know, it's gonna soften it up, so it's gonna be more balanced. I really like the leather Mary Janes that you can see everywhere now with the like two, three straps. These are very cool and I may be getting a pair if I find something very comfortable because I'm all about comfort when it comes to shoes especially. So instead of wearing them with your typical feminine pieces like a skirt or a dress, I would actually style them with something more casual or something more uh, masculine. So with a pair of uh, jeans, your relaxed jeans, tailored trousers, but they also look great with slim jeans, just something more of a straight leg. I feel like when it gets warmer we want something light, something that is not really adding any extra bulk to our outfit. So such shoes are a really nice option. The last trend is uh, very simple quality over quantity if you want to invest in one of the trends or you're just buying something new for your wardrobe one trend that will take you very far is 
investing in quality. Uh, 22nd of April is an Earth Day, so in this video I want to emphasize the importance of our smart choices of us being uh, conscious buyers, not just thinking about our wardrobe and what we like, but also about the environment, our planet and everything and everyone around us. And with this message, I would like to end this video. I hope you enjoy my trend review and you found something interesting to either pull out from your wardrobe, uh, shop secondhand or buy new in a very good quality. And if there is any trend you specifically enjoy or want to invest and wear this season, let us know in the comment section. If you would like to invest in a sustainable and good quality beautiful watch, visit North Green website and use my discount code. Okay, thank you so so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like and in the meantime have a lovely week and I see you in my next video. Thank you, bye!